Hey guys, Team Nose here, bringing you another deck profile. Um, first off, I want to say I'm sorry for like not uploading in two months. Um, I've been busy. I got a new job. I now work at Disneyland, so I've been very busy with that. And yeah, that's basically what my life has been now. Just working there, coming home, tired. Um, flying into my friend tell us he did. We I did a case split recently for the newest set, set twelve, I think, or set eleven. Um, we got gears. Turns out I'm not gonna make gears because it's getting too expensive. <laughs> Um, using my phone right now to record because it's pretty late. Well, it's not even late. It's like 9, so it's pretty early still. Um, but it's decked. It's fun. It's not really complete, but it, it works though. I need PGs. I'm using Quintet Walls for now. I want, because I wanted to try it out, but it's not that great. No, that's the update. Um, I'm going to try to get more things done. I'm in the process right now of making a budget Amon deck because I want to deck myself out with this guy because it looks like fun. Uh, so, all right, let's get started. So, our, it's going to be a budget Genesis Witch deck profile. I made one in a previous video, so let's get started. So, I tried using the new starter from the new set. Um, I personally didn't like it because it is counterblast, and this deck is still counterblast heavy, and it has honestly no really way to unflip damage sites healing or if you use the unflipper PG. And I think I might just put in the unflipper PG um, if I can just get them. If not, I might just use like standard like Sunnies or something because it's a PG. And the counter lasting for the PG, the Quintel was too much. Because I want to try it out for the new mechanic that it had. If it's in Soul, well, I'll fix it later. So our starter is Witch of Prohibited Books, Cinnamon? Cinnamon, so skill. But this unit boosts a great three or greater Vanguard. If it hits the Vanguard, you put it into your Soul and Soul Charge 2. So in Send, it's Soul Charge 3. So next, on to the triggers. I am, I like I said, I was trying some of the new stuff out, so... Four witch shields. I'm gonna get the new one, the, the double R's, because she is also a witch. Four of what of a, an amazing crit. Um, which is familiar, Sharoma. So skill, regard, act. Put on top of your deck. Shuffle. Draw a card. Look at the top three cards of your deck. Put one in the soul and the rest in the drop. So it fuels your legion. Um, three. I mean four. Battle maiden Kirohime. So put her in the soul. Act regard. Give it you a plus three K. And then this is a cool stand. Uh, I like the, the function of it, but um, I think I need to understand more because this deck does deck them a lot. So I want to use the stand that puts everything back into the deck. I think I have them somewhere, but I'm not too sure. But skill is, well, her name is Drip Witch Rosemary. So when this card is put into your drop zone from your soul, choose a unit, give it um, soul charge one, and then give a unit plus 2k. Yeah, Vanguard is Witch in its card name, Soul Charge 1. Choose one of the other units is Witch in its card name, and it gets plus 2. So it's really nice to Soul Blast 4 out, and Soul Blast and Soul Charge 4, and then give a unit plus 2k 4 times. So you can like get plus 2,000 across the board if you have multiples in your drop, in your soul, which is nice. So that's the trigger lineup. Um, I play super defensively, um, which is pretty cool, but again, not too cool. Uh, looks like I'm going to be going backwards on... My cards. So we were running, we were running three. So I was like play testing. I guess I didn't organize them. My bad. Three Witch of Melons. Um, time. So skill. When this unit is placed onto the rear guard, if you have a Witch Vanguard, um, look at the top three cards of your deck. Put one into your soul and the rest in the drop. I really like this card at three. I think four might be too much, but I really like it a lot because it one, it's free and it's just on placement. Next, we were running um, four. Um, Witch of Quillpins Wanyan. Probably pronouncing that wrong. So when this unit is so blasted out, it's like um, Witch of Crows, I think. Or Witch of Melons. But these are basically the upgraded versions. So when this unit is so blasted out, counter blast one, call it to Rigor, and it gets plus 2k. If you have a Witch Vanguard, I believe. Yeah, Witch Vanguard. So really nice card. It's double R, really cheap. No, everything I've shown this far is like super dirt cheap. Um, so yeah, like super cheap. Next we have four of the Witch Quintet Wads. Like I said, I just wanted to try it out. It worked a little bit, but not that great. So Catabas 1 card is Witch, which is weird. Middle top five in the guard circle. And then I was mainly using her for, um, her other effect. When she's in soul, if she gets soul blasted out, you can discard a card, add it to your hand, and then soul charge too. Which is very, very nice. So she gives you soul in, in place of um, swapping a card and discarding a card. So then again, you're not really minusing, you're just picking a card that's useless in your hand. And then we're running three Strife Fodders. 
because striding is always nice. So this, and this are the only non-witch cards. Um, the stand's also gonna be non-witch once I switch it out. Or maybe I'll keep like 2-2, two -two, doesn't matter. So that happened a lot, I was play testing with my friend and I kept decking out. <laughs> All right, so next on to the great twos. We have four of the new grade two witch mate. Um, which is pretty cool. Um, so on placement of Vanguard or um, you can counter about a one, uh, soul charge two. And then if you have a grade three Vanguard, uh, grade three or greater, was which it is carding, you can choose up to two other units and give them plus two K power each. So it, it's nice, it gives like a little field boost. <clears throat> Next, we have the grade 2 version of Onan's, uh, Witch of I Rabbit's Cardamon. So, again, when she is soul blasted out, you can counter blast one, color to rear guard, and give her plus 2k. So, basically, it gives off more attacks, but as you can see, that deck is super counter blast heavy. I really wish, like, this was free. Or, like, these were these were free, like, we, like by, it, you're restricted to witches, so you can't, like, splash in any deck, which would be really nice. Um, two 12k attackers, I just like the early pressure on, like 12, 12, um, just two. And then two, um, Witch of Golden Eagle's Jasmine, when she's placed on rear guard. If you have a Vanguard as Witch in his card name, so charge three and she gets plus 5k. Making this a uh, 21k column early on, which is really nice, was uh, call her plus five, so charge three, and then the one behind it. Uh, Making her so, uh, 16 plus five, 21, which is very nice, with a lot of pressure on early game. Uh, my great days are a bit wonky. <laughs> Um, so we're running four of the new um, Legion from the set. So she Legion was the mate I showed you. Now oh, she's a very very awkward card. Um, so her Legion skill. Um, when your card was Witch and it's card name, it wants per turn. When your uh, unit is so blasted out. And if she's in the Legion, you can counter plus one, call that card to rear guard, and then draw a card. <clears throat> oh no, no, that card doesn't take that part does not you do not have to be in Legion. So if you soul blast something out, you can counter plus one, bring it back, and that's it. But if you're in Legion, you get to draw a card. So which is a bonus. And then her other skill makes the other skill go off, but which is really weird. Um Soul Blast 3. When your unit was a witch and its card name is placed on rear guard during your turn, if she's in Legion, you can unflip a damage, uh, counter charge one, and soul charge one. That part you can actually abuse if you have enough soul, which is very, very nice. Wow, that card, that affects that one's return. Huh, I don't know that. Huh, whatever, I can't read. All right, so you guys probably knew that already. So yeah, so let's say you place a card, you can soul blast three, unflip a damage, and soul charge one, which is very, very nice. Next, we have one. I need to get more of this. Um, Witch of Ego's Fennel. On placement, on placement of Vanguard, counter plus one, soul charge three. And then her skill, during the turn that she legioned, which is this, is, this is the reason why I don't really like her that much, is it's only during the turn that this new illusion, which means you would have to keep rewriting it, rewriting it to actually get her effective. Other than that, she would be just a shiny grade three. Um, so after the battle that she attacks the Vanguard, um, soul blast three, look at the top five cards. Add two witches you find there to your deck from your deck. Add two witches you find from the five to your hand. And then you shuffle your deck. Which is really nice. And then we are running two. Oh, this is, this is the, my bad. The third line of witch card. Uh, Goddess of Good Luck Fortuna. So this is very old. Soul Blast 3. She gets plus 5,000. She has Lord. It doesn't matter. Um, Limit Break. Soul Blast 3. When, um, when this unit drive checks a grade one or greater, you can soul blast three, get rid of it, get an additional drive. Um, and basically you can keep doing that until you get a trigger as long as you can pay soul blast three. So it's like, oh, you, you said one to pass, let's keep going until I get it. <laughs> so those, that's the deck. So we're running, uh, 12 grade twos and seven grade threes. So far it's been pretty consistent, even with all the draws. I was vain about putting draws in the deck. But other than that, it's fine. So we have for the G zone two. Um, Witch Queen of Holy Water Clove. So very nice card. It's a reprint strife for witches. Um, so when she attacks the Vanguard, I believe. Yeah, when she attacks the Vanguard, you can still blast six. Um, <clears throat> all of your cards was witch in its card name is units. You got a hard with Vanguard. 
Uh, yeah, all your units with what Janet's card name continuous get plus 5k, so including her, which is super nice. And then if you're in Legion, she gets crit. So in, in a sense, um, you can basically call out the great twos or the great ones. So you can like swing left, right, soul blast, get them out. They're, they both get to um, 5k power, so that'll be 26k columns, which is very, very nice. Next, we are running four. Look at that artwork, it's so nice, it's so pretty. Uh, four, which queen of congratulation Nusterdom? So, skill once per turn. Uh, counterboss one, choose two, counterboss one, uh, if you have a hard card is witch, counterboss one. Um, choose two of your units with witch in his card name, they get plus 5,000 power, and then they get the ability when they attack the vanguard, or attack in general, I believe. Yeah, when his unit attacks, soul charge one. And if, and if you're in Legion, she gets an additional plus 10,000 in crit, which is very nice. So she's like this, but a little easier to do, but she doesn't counter boss, which is super nice. And gives, she basically gives up more attacks. And no, these are like a dollar or 50 cents, and these are like 20 cents. One Doom Brace. Um, Soul Blast 3. Choose two of your, of your regards, they get plus 5k. If you have two or less cards in Soul, Soul Charge 3. Um, we have three. <laughs> you don't run three. It's just this is all I have. I have on hits, but I'm not using that. I mean, I probably could. So skill, soul blast three. Look at the top card of your deck. Put it to the top or bottom, and then he gets the ability. Whenever you drive check a grade one or greater, soul charge three. So that's even mid drive check. So first check, you soul charge three. Second check, you soul charge three. Third check, you soul charge three. So that's how that card works. I was saying my friend, I was like, I need some soul. I was playing him. Get okay, nothing but triggers. I mean, that's the first time I got upset of getting triple trigger. Uh, next we have one. Uh, Sky Dome Battle Maiden Hanatsuki. So skill is when this unit is placed on the guard circle, choose one of your units. Uh, choose one of your regards, and if you have a card with the same card name as that in your soul, she gets plus 1,000 shield. Then we are running three of the Fighters Collection card. Um, I do not have the one for um, the Inner Fighters Collection yet. Yeah, that card like, jumped up the price for some reason. So skill, when it's in your place on guard, choose up the three cards in your drop zone. Um, and put them into your soul. If three cards were put, she gets plus 5,000 shield. So basically she refuels your soul. She allows you to abuse things like you can use this again and stuff. Um, she can put the great twos back or something. Um, so that's the deck. I really hope you guys enjoy the, the, the deck profile. And I'm sorry for the lack of videos. I will be trying. I, I always say that. But I will be trying to get more videos now. Um, like I said, the Amon deck, I'm still working on that. So I really hope you guys um, enjoy this video. Thanks for all the subscribers. We are, like one, we are at 148 now. And that's really cool. I never thought I would go past like 20 or something. Uh, but remember to rate, comment, like, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.